Hello everyone and welcome back to the lab. In this video I will be showing the burning of magnesium metal. Air is composed primarily of nitrogen and oxygen and there are two possible reactions that will take place. The top reaction is much more favorable. Magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Once some magnesium has consumed all the oxygen there is only nitrogen left. The remaining magnesium reacts with nitrogen to form magnesium nitride. Burning magnesium in the air emits a bright white light. It also emits a lot of ultraviolet light, and in fact, burning magnesium is sometimes used as a source of ultraviolet light. For example, a mixture of hydrogen and chlorine gas will not react on its own, but upon exposure to ultraviolet light from a piece of burning magnesium, they will explosively combine to form hydrogen chloride. Without further ado, let's go outside and burn some magnesium. Here's the aluminum boat and the can that I burned the magnesium on. You can see a white film of magnesium oxide and nitride on each of them. A lot of it was lost into the air because it got so hot. And in fact, you can see it burned through the aluminum foil. I rinsed off the inside of the boat with water and I'll now test the pH. Magnesium oxide will react with water to make magnesium hydroxide, which is not very soluble in water, but it does make it basic, so we'll see the pH is. The color is messed up, but the pH seems to be around 8. As you can see, the pH is certainly basic. I believe the transition for phenylthaline is 8.2, so the water we have here is certainly basic. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos.